Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Cassidy with the Florida Aviation Network. Right now we're at the U.S. Aviation Sport Expo and I'm here with a longtime supporter of this event, Phil Lockwood, president of Lockwood Aviation. How are you, Phil? Very good, Michelle. Very good. Now, you were I talked to you last year during this event and ever since then, what's been going on at Lockwood? What's new? Well, <clears throat> we have um, uh, the, the uh, air cam enclosure is something we've been working on for the air cam. Um, you know, the air cam's always been a fun airplane to fly open cockpit and we've had great success with it in warm climates, but uh, not so much in the colder climates. So we've developed this full enclosure and that allows you to fly it in uh, cold climates. So we've been selling some in Europe, we've been selling some in Canada, Alaska as a result of this new full enclosure. And the beauty of it is you don't really give up the open cockpit capability because you can convert to fully enclosed to open in 30 minutes. So is there, what are other features involved with the canopy? There's like, I've heard a lot about it. Well, it has a, a, a full blown forward section. Uh, visibility is really the same as when you're open. So it retains the great visibility that the air cam has and it still flies the same, uh, but you just don't have any wind on you. So uh, it allows you to fly in cold weather very comfortably. And if you need to go up high, if you're in a hurry to get somewhere and catch a tailwind, it also increases the cruise speed quite a bit from you know, 85 miles an hour, if you go up to 12,000 feet, you're doing well over 100 miles an hour true airspeed. Wow, that is amazing. Now, you're also a part of the EAA chapter. Can you tell us what's new going on new? Uh, sure, our uh, 1240 has been very active. We just had our uh, benefit dinner uh, here at Sebring. Um, we had uh, Colonel Graham, who, uh, flies the, who used to fly the SR-71 Blackbird, and he was our keynote speaker. That was very interesting. If you ever get a chance to listen to him, I would recommend it. Uh, and uh, we continue to raise money for um, scholarships for kids trying to bring uh, youth into aviation and we're working with the local schools to try and make more information about aviation available and develop youth uh, aviation programs. So now as the year has just begun, do you have any like New Year's resolutions as a block for Lookwood? <laughs> well, always trying to improve the company and keep our employees and customers happy and do the best we can. Um, let's see what else is new. The, uh, uh, the, the fuel injected engines are kind of coming into their own, the new IS Sport with the Sport upgrade. We've done a lot of the upgrades from the Sport, from the IS to the Sport, which increases the torque and performance of the engine. And those are becoming more and more popular. That's great. And now since we're here at Sebring, what are you guys doing here? Well, of course, we're based here on the field, so we're, we're, uh, we've been here now since 1994, and we encourage people to come visit our facility. But we also have a display for the air cam here. We have an amphibious air cam, a, uh, a land-based wheeled air cam with the new fuel-injected engines, and we have a uh, regular open cockpit air cam. Um, we also have a Rotax display with all the new Rotax engines on display, and then we have a little display for our flight school as well. That is amazing. How's the flight school going, by the way? The flight school is going well. You can tell the economy is improving, and that business is picking up as well. Well, thank you for joining us, Phil. Uh, I'm glad to be here, Michelle. <laughs> nice, nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. This has been Michelle Cassidy with the Florida Aviation Network here at Sebring, Florida for the U.S. Sports Expo. Thank you.